What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. We are in, they say it's West Texas, but if you look on the map, it's straight above where I live, which would be North Texas for me. But we are in Hamlin, Texas. We are at the Guitar Ranch, DT Diamond, some or another, and I old Yappy Tang Toe Twan got Twan some, is here. Got some hogs, uh, cranes. Cranes uh, and hogs. We are here with the Made With Meat crew. Uh, they're hooking us all up with some awesome gear. Y'all have seen me use it in the past couple videos, actually. So super pumped to meet these guys and be out here with them. They hooked us up with all kinds of gear. My bed is a wreck, but got some camo, a couple guns. Uh, they hooked it up for sure. So we actually just left the gun range, sighted in the guns. I meant to bring my gun, but I was told not to bring anything, that they're supplying everything, so I didn't but we are shooting some pretty cool guns. So dialed them in. Unfortunately, it is a 6.5 Creedmoor. But uh, they will kill pigs. Hey. What's wrong with 6.5? Dude, most ranches won't let you shoot a 6.5 Creedmoor on the ranch. Why? Because they're too fast. They just don't oh. expand. Oh. Okay. They just pop a little pinhole in them. And they, anyway, we're not going to do that because we're shooting them dome shots tonight. So <laughs> we're going to go get in the blind and... Uh, I don't know what to expect. We're gonna see what we're gonna do, we, and then we might be sitting together. Maybe we'll see. I don't. I feel like that's a funner option. Yeah, I think so too. Cause like, God forbid, which maybe I should say, I'd rather sit with just you than a guy. I don't know. Yeah. No, we'll see. Golly, it ain't forty degrees. Dude, I get cold, bro. Okay. Yeah, he is skinny. So I'm gonna get some clothes on. I'm just wearing my my good old Texas gear. I think I'm just gonna roll with this. I'll bring my bibs if needed but yeah, uh sure. we're going to shoot a pig but the whole um yeah, I'm not wearing my boots. what we're doing for this whole thing is we're breaking down all the meat that we harvest and uh do, running it through the made with meat processing equipment and they're going to show us some tips and tricks on that stuff uh which i'm super excited about to learn how to better handle my meat so I'll catch you guys in a blind. We're going to go check it out, see what happens. And then we're waking up super early to go crane hunting. I've only done that a couple times, so I'm super excited. And we get to try out these new shotguns. we got a Weatherby and a Mossberg. So, um, we'll just be out there like this. If you can't figure out which one you want, yeah, just see just which one shoots better. Double tap. Yeah. And no need for a plug. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we'll see you all in the blind. <laughs> Don't get bit. <laughs> what? Don't yeah. get bit. I'm gonna spark her. She's gonna be in there. She'll see it. <laughs> Hell, for that matter, really in truth, believe if y'all want to sit outside, y'all can sit outside. We'll just grab them chairs. Yeah, the let's wind's uh, blowing grab them chairs. <laughs> We're out here at the campfire. We're set up behind the blind. It's full of wasps. Pss, pss, pss. And he's a deathly allergic to wasps. Pss, 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 pss. <laughs> <laughs> so the feeder goes off in like 30 minutes, so we need to be quiet. Wait, seriously? Yeah. So we need to be quiet and get our guns ready. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this. We have a great wind blowing straight at him. Uh, it took like 35 minutes to get to the blind. <laughs> this place is 40,000 acres. But we're gonna get set up. Yeah. Y'all stay tuned.
just wanted you to go right, you go left. Wow, I can't get more afraid. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Alright, you want. They don't matter. I'm gonna shoot that big spot. Okay. Alright, well, turn it where it get the two big ones on the left. There, turn it more. I'm gonna shoot the. Oh, they're leaving. Just shoot one. right next to yours. Alright, you count it down. Three. Alright, you count it down. Three. Two. We got both of them. You gonna get another one? No. Yeah, get one. Here, hold on. Both of them. Alright, I'm on him. Get that big black one. Get him. Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> well, that was a show. Oh my god. I didn't have any more bullets. I told you I wanted you to know. Oh, sweet, dude. Got him. Got him. I lost my bet. Yep. <laughs> we didn't shake on it. <laughs> so I bet him a hundred bucks that pigs would show up before dark. Three pigs down right now. He's like, oh, there's pigs. There's pigs. There's oh, there's pigs. <laughs> well, guys, terrible wind ended up doing, turning out all right for us. There were probably like 14, 15 pigs. Yeah. There, and dude, the spotted ones were crazy. I've yeah. never seen anything like that. And we one, two, three'd them. <laughs> <laughs> Both headshots on the first two. Did you head shoot the third? Uh, it like neck. Neck. Yeah. And then they were running off. He was like, should I shoot another one? <laughs> I, I was over there trying to rack bullets. I, I only had one in. And uh, he got the third so, one. So This is what we're going after tomorrow morning. Yeah. Cranes in the morning. Dude, that's going to be crazy if a flock comes in like that. Yeah. Do it. Can't ask for a better time than that yeah. with, with a wind that we had. Yeah. So this is the one yap 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 shot. Perfect shot. Ooh. And this is the one I shot. Perfect shot. That is a cool pick. Look at that, right behind the ear. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. Let's go find your other one. Oh, there he is. There it is right there. Heck yeah. <laughs> So I'll do one, two, three, bang. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then this one. All right, guys. Well, we're going to get some pictures. And then uh, we're headed back to the lodge. And we're going to clean them up. So I'll see you guys in the skinning shed. And uh, we'll go from there. All right. Check out the made with meat gear. This is like a. What is up? Look at this. Choo! Well, I'm definitely not used to having people clean my animals for me, but it is pretty nice. It is uh, 3.30 in the morning. It's time to roll. Which which shotgun do we pick, guys? We get to get, get two to choose from. Do we go with the Mossberg with the... I think we're going with the Mossberg. All right, Dan. I think we're going with Mossberg. Well, folks, the plan has changed. Oh. It's been raining all morning, so we are not shooting cranes today. We're shooting ducks and geese. We've been setting up all morning. There's ducks flying everywhere. 
just waiting on our guide to get in here but set up this big a-frame blind we got six hunters i think so we put out a couple hundred decoys Get him guys out front. Okay. Get him. Wish I brought my ear pro. Yeah, that was ah. That hood. Got him. Oh, these are snows. Oh my God. These are snows. We need to kill them. Dang, we need to kill these snows. Add to the pile. Get him guys up front! Stay. Sausage right there. We're gonna make some sausage. A lot of work for two birds. It was fun though, for sure. I'm gonna try to make some sausage out of these guys, so we'll see what happens. Look at that view. Pretty sweet view. Unfortunately, it's still raining, but we get, got back, took some naps. Well, I didn't really sleep, but yeah, but it definitely took about a little four hour lull. Dude, I thought I would feel so much better. I don't. I feel like crap. So, we're in the blind. This is, uh, we still have another evening to hunt, but uh, he shot his two pigs yesterday. I shot one. We're allowed to shoot two pigs. But I shoot pigs all the time, so I told him, actually, he told me, he was like, it'd be funny. Let's do, if a pig comes in. Well, you were trying to get me to shoot it. I was trying to get him to shoot it, but he's like, all right, this would be funny if we did this. If a pig comes in, we're going to rock, paper, scissors, best two out of three. No if, ands, or buts, best two out of three. No cheating. And whoever wins best two out of three shoots it. So we have to see a pig first, though, yeah. before we do it. We have to do it. Wow, it has yeah. to be like, bah, bah. <laughs> So y'all stay tuned. I don't know that we're going to see a whole lot, but it's really cold and raining sideways. But we're really, it's a really cool view look, overlooking our river. So what's that thing over there? Silage? That sounds like. That's not water. It's a lake. Right there, sure? right there. Yeah, look through my binos. Tell me what it is. It's not water, I know that. It's either silage or solar panels. How do you like them mavens, though? They're nice. I have no idea what they are. So, y'all stay tuned. We'll see what we see. Wait, what? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, we can't even do it. Hold on. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh. <sighs> Dude, that's a big board. It's a big board. Dunsky. Dropped it. 
Well, that didn't take long. That's a big boy. Yeah, it is. Nah. Pig down. We're gonna get him loaded and uh, head to the house. Morning two. <laughs> Crane, so baby. So tired, dude. Yeah. But we don't have rain today, which is good. So it yeah, is. Mud. We got mud. Layout blinds. Yes. Sir. All right, we're lay layout blinding it. We'll see y'all out there. I'm not bringing this big camera. It's gonna be super nasty out there. So. Catch y'all in the field. Well, guys, it's kind of hard to film this, but we just dumped three. <laughs> We're up to oh, six. He's up. Look, he's up. Big boy. Oh, dear. Ouchie. Well, we wrapped the hunt up, guys. Just a few shy of our limit. If we would have hit a few more birds, we would have definitely got our limit. But it's crazy, these birds. You say they're up to 20 years old? Oh, some older than that. 25, 30 years old. That's yes. crazy. But we're going to take these back. We're going to get some pictures. They're awesome, awesome birds. We're going to take some pictures with them and then take them back and process them. And that's what's for dinner tonight. I don't know what we're going to do with them, but... Pretty excited to uh, eat some crane bird. All right, so as you can see behind me, we have a bunch of pigs from this week that we've shot and they've been hanging in the cooler for a day or two. And we got these stations set up. Chef Albert here, he uh, is gonna show us. I've cleaned a lot of pigs in my life, but I don't know all the cuts and names and stuff. And that's what you're gonna do for us, show how to cut it and keep the different cuts of the meat and all that stuff. So, I'll show you bits and clips of what we do. We're going to do it all on these tables, and uh, I'm excited to learn uh, how to properly butcher a pig. And then, uh, definitely going to take a lot of this meat home and make some sausage and stuff like that with it. Cooking methods to those tender or less tender cuts. So, basically, what we're going to do is talk about the concept because this could be a deer, it could be an antelope, it could be an elk or a moose. They're all the bone structure is the same, all the muscle structure is the same, uh, and somewhat the fat content is the same, even though the wild pigs, some have a little more fat than others, depending on you know what they've been eating, or if it's a boar or a sow, and or if she had piglets, more likely that was a sow and probably had piglets, because there's no fat on it. Sometimes the ones that have little piglets the meat is actually emaciated. There's no fat and there's hardly any meat on it because those little ones are sucking everything out of the drought. So, uh, and it depends on the drought and the season and you know, all those kinds of things. Cut right through there. So we got a pile of stew meat. We got part of the shoulder clod. Here's the shoulder clod. Uh, somewhere our flat iron. That looks like, that, that looks like our flat iron. So this is that pot roast. So the question is, that's, that's a less tender cut. So that means it's slow cooked for a long period of time. We could tie it, put it in a net, you don't even have to, you just uh, trim this fascia off of here. And sometimes I'll leave this just like this, put it in the freezer. When it comes out of the freezer, I cut that fascia off. When it comes out of the freezer, it's still frozen. And this comes off really easy. Okay. The other thing that I, I didn't get to explain and why we're having a little bit of problems with some of this is because it hasn't hung for very long. Yeah. This will dry up. When this dries up, it's really easy to take off. Yeah. When it's sticky and tacky and fresh like that, it's pain in the butt. Yeah. So that's why I'll leave it like this when it comes out of the freezer and it's still frosty, I'll peel that off. Yeah. But, and I'll say, I'll make a pot roast out of this, but I might may want to make stew out of it, but I might want to coarse grind it into uh, chili. So you can do whatever you want with it. The same thing with this, you know, it's marked stew meat, but you can make sausage and stuff like that out of it. You can grind it. So I usually mix my, my wild pig with some of my elk trim, mm -hmm. and I'll use some of the pig fat to go with it, and 
I'll blend it. I got elk and pig in coarse ground things, so we'll make stuffed peppers, stuffed cabbage, meatballs, or whatever we want out of out of that. So we took the most uh, difficult muscles because they're harder to identify on a pig, and we separated them out. So that's our flat iron by that tendon that goes through there. And then I'll just turn it this way for me, please. And you can cut, uh, you know, some smaller ribs or just a full rack. So we're just going to cut a full rack. Watch your fingers. Yeah, or a handsaw. And if you were, um, if you were doing this out in the field, what you could do is you could take your knife hide there. So you can see here's the bone, there's the, you know, the poke in your finger or the bladder through the hole of the pelvic bone. And the, remember when I said I'm using gravity, I'm just letting this, uh, the weight do the work. So I'm just going to cut through here. We had a lesson on the mountain this year with our elk. <laughs> Steak sandwiches. And then we have our heel and our shank. And a little bit of little bit of trim. So I think what you're if you, you've noticed that uh, when when you look at some of these meats and you know like so this these would be less tender. So the tough cuts get moisture for a long period of time, like braising and stewing and/or grinding. These can go either way. You can slow cook them or you can cut them into chips like chip beef and things like that. So you can braise this. You can still cut little medallions out of that or stir fry out of that. So you could use some dry cooking methods with those cuts. But what I'm getting at is number one, we didn't have to all this trimming to, to do and you mark it as bottom round. When it comes out of the freezer or you go to the freezer and you look and say bottom round, I can Maybe I'll make jerky, maybe I'll braise it, maybe I'll make Swiss steak. You do whatever you want with this when it comes out. And you know, like on the web page. Yeah, so, so the, the whole idea behind the website from fieldtotable.com, it's like when you go to the freezer and you pull that package out and it says bottom round on it, and if you're like me from four years ago and you might look at it, like, what the heck do I do with bottom round? Well, you can go to the website now, and if you use that hind quarter on the elk, the interactive elk, you hover over and it pops up all the different eight muscles on the hind quarter and you look at bottom round and it'll tell you that it's a less tender cut and give you all the cooking methods for it. Plus then you can click again and it'll take you to all the different recipes for less, uh, less tender cuts on there and then you've got a whole plethora of uh, recipes that you can choose from for it. So it just makes it super simple. That's what's up. So if you're interested in learning all these cuts and recipes and all that, you can go to their website. I'll link it below and you can book a class. You can come out shoot a pig or a deer, they do all kinds of different stuff and then learn how to do this, what we're doing right here. Meaning we're gonna make a brine and then we're going to soak them and inject them and let them uh, brine marinate overnight, and, or cure overnight. Then tomorrow we'll take them out, wash the brine off and let them dry and then they're going on the smoker for dinner tomorrow night. So that's gonna be one of our uh, entrees tomorrow night is smoked uh, wild boar loin. So the rest, I was gonna make a rub to put on the outside, but we got this one here, and I thought we'd try <laughs> We want this meat to be able to just fall in. We don't want to uh, have to stuff it with the plunger. The meat's nice and cold, and it's coming out. If it wasn't sharp or it was in backwards, it wouldn't be coming out when it's in you know, nice cold pieces. So we just drop it in. I like to try to cut them in long strips and you know instead of cutting 50 million little cubes just cut like five long strips and just run it'll eat it right up these machines are great all right guys so right now he's making um sausage out of the crane unfortunately i'm leaving tonight but i'm heading to the ranch and uh i got a bunch of meat that i vacuum sealed or that they vacuum sealed for me uh with the meat chamber vacuum and uh, I'm gonna take that to the ranch and cook it up this weekend. So y'all stay tuned for that. But this has been an absolute blast learning. I've cut, like I said, I've cut up tons of animals um, over the years. And uh, it was really cool to see the process that they do, uh, just breaking down different pieces of that animal. But 
had a blast here. The video is not over, so y'all stay tuned. Uh, we're going to finish up here and learn a little more about sausage making, which I'm really into right now. So um, I'll catch you guys when we're at the ranch. All right, guys, I'm at the ranch now, and we are doing a little cooking. So these are, this is uh, similar to the recipe that Chef was using, um, but I didn't have soy sauce. So it's A1, oyster shear, a little mullet man critter glitter, and some cilantro. And then this is actually the sausage that we made there. So this is made out of crane thighs and the wild pig that we shot while we were there. So they actually put it into links uh, after I left, but I took one patty just so I could try it here. So we're gonna sear these crane breasts and a little bit of butter. And we're gonna cook this very, very rare. up this sausage patty over here come on let that cook up too all right so our sausage patty is done we're gonna cut that up and let everybody try it we're gonna let these crane breasts cool down For about 10 minutes and then we're going to slice them and see how they turn out but let's dive into this sausage and see what everybody thinks good it's gonna be hot oh, it's hot Strong flavor, right? It's good though. Yeah, does it's it good. Taste, does it taste like a pot sticker to you, kind of? Kind of, like a. I don't know. Like the inside of the pot stickers with the sauce that you dip it in. Mm. It's a strong flavor, mom. You want to try it? Sure. It's not real strong. It's good. That piece right there. This is crane sausage. Salty. Actually really good. Yeah, delicious. All right, we're gonna cut into this crane breast here in a minute and do a taste test on it. All right, let's break into this. Let's see how we did on rare. It is rare. A little more. We'll cook it a little more, but let's Cuts very, very tender. Let's taste test one out of 10. See what it tastes like. That is delicious. So I actually cooked some last night and I put honey in the marinade and it almost made it too sweet. But this is a lot better. I'd give it like a solid eight four eight five out of ten it tastes like a super tender piece of beef mm. uh, what was that i heard that Pellet. bullet or something yeah oh. break your tear. i hope not oh that's a bb i heard it oh how many are there just one it's okay. good though no hey bubba you want to try some steak yeah it's the same. Yeah. It's crane. Oh. Yeah. Crane. Super tender. It's better than steak. That's good. Delicious. Ryan? Like a uh, tenderloin steak. Yep. That's the consistency of it for sure. Yeah, that's, that's really good. I'd say that's better than last night though. Mm -hmm. Here's a, that's a pretty cooked piece, but you'll get the flavor anyway. Mm. That's better than backstrap. Yeah. It is. It's like a big tenderloin with a, like the slightest hint of waterfowl. Yeah, maybe. It's probably, yeah. But overall, it's delicious. Sausage is great. And the crane breasts are amazing. So hope you enjoyed this video. We had a blast in uh, Hamlin, Texas. Thanks to the meat crew for having us out and uh, looking forward to processing a lot of meat. 
this next coming season. Stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.